The world of chemistry is not just exciting, but also exhilarating. Right from the lab to the boardroom, as a chemist, your life is going to look like a roller coaster ride. But today, let's find out how your life will look like as a chemist. Hey everybody, welcome to Rasayanika. I'm your host, Shekhar Suman, and the CEO and co-founder of Rasayanika. And today, we are going to talk about life of a chemist from the lab to the boardroom, how you will transition, how you will grow at every stage and how things will happen as you start your corporate job till the time you become a senior scientist or maybe a chief scientific officer. Today we are going to or trying we are trying to document uh, your journey but in the middle of this if you find any questions or if you have any doubts feel free to comment below. Now generally people think that chemists often they, they picture like someone who will be wearing a white coat and uh, surrounded by beakers and chemicals deeply engrossed in some experiments right but the truth is the reality is modern chemists are no longer just playing with chemicals it's far beyond the four walls of the laboratory today's chemists are not just scientists but they are innovators they are strategists they are leaders who often find themselves equally comfortable in the lab as well as in the boardroom. They don't just do experiments, they run strategies for the company. So let's find out how, as a scientist, your day will look like. Well, your day in the morning will start with precision and discovery. You'll go to the lab, obviously, you'll wear the lab coat, and you'll start reviewing your experiment samples and troubleshooting, trying to run the experiment, collecting the data, hypothesis. You'll be reviewing the safety protocols, you'll be setting up the reactions, you'll be analyzing the samples, you'll be troubleshooting, You'll be collaborating with other lab technicians, interns, fellow scientists. You'll be documenting whatever you observe and you will also be recording it whether it happened or not. You will still do it. Whether the experiment fails or succeeds, you'll keep doing it or repeating it. Well, that is where your attention to detail comes into picture. This is where your critical thinking comes into picture. Why did an experiment fail? Your problem solving skills comes into picture. So you have to be very, very sharp here. Right? And that is why to become a senior scientist or a scientist in a uh, chemistry laboratory, you got to go through fire. Now, I'm not meaning the fire which happens, but a lot of failures, right? You have to pass through a lot of failures to become a senior scientist, right? Remember what Edison said after discovering the light bulb or inventing the light bulb. He said that I just didn't, uh, you know, invent a light bulb. I also know 10,000 other ways of no how not to make a light bulb, right? So that's how he became Edison. So that's where your work in experimenting is not just about success, it's more about failure and rejections, okay? So that's something you have to remember. Now, how the afternoons will look like. In the afternoon, you'll spend time data crunching, strategic planning. So suppose the experiment is done, so you'll start analyzing the results using the analytical tools, HPLC, NMR, GCEL, CMS, all of that. And then you'll be using software such as ChemDraw, Bioinformatics tools, ChemInformatics tools. You'll be preparing reports and presentations, summarizing the initial findings. Then you'll also be brainstorming with other team members or R&D members on how can we improve the product, how can we optimize the process, how can we do some new research, what are the new directions in which we can take our research. So all of this brainstorming happens in the afternoon generally for all the scientists and senior scientists. Now often you will also be talking to suppliers, people who will be, um, you know, suppose you are outsourcing the data analysis, so you are talking to them. You are talking to people who are supplying the chemicals, instrument, reagents, um, uh, you know, bio materials, everything, you are going to do it. Of course you are also talking to your, uh, you know, overseas partners, collaborators who might be or mentors who might be also involved. So this is where the afternoon goes in. Well, here a lot of analytical mindset is required. A lot of communication and teamwork is required. And this is where you have to remember that to become a senior scientist or a scientist or a chemist in these kind of labs, you got to do a lot of communication improvement. You have to have an analytical mindset. You have to think out of the box. You have to find things which nobody else pointed out. And you have to probably many times find things which don't doesn't even exist, right? So that's where the afternoons will go. Now coming to evening. What will happen in the evening? Well, evenings are not about fun. They are about boardrooms. So most of the companies in the evenings, the management meets the scientists, the chemists, they, you'll be a part of the strategic discussions. You'll be presenting research outcomes with management, with regulatory teams, with clients. You'll be translating complex scientific data into actionable uh, business products and insights. You'll be participating in the decision-making process. You'll be checking if the management has an idea, whether it has got a feasibility or not, whether the project 
uh, is uh, feasible, it can be prioritized, it can be budgeted in the right way. Are we going over budget? Are we regulatory compliant? And sometimes you'll also be mentoring the junior scientists in the evening time. So this is how your day will look like morning, afternoon and evening. Now, let's not stop here. What are the skills you'll require to achieve this? You'll require a lot of business acumen, analytical mindset, scientific storytelling. You will have to simplify the scientific things for the management because they may not be from the scientific background. Now, coming to the next uh, step, what will happen after evening? Do you think you're going home? Generally, maybe yes, maybe no. Because remember, morning you started the experiment, it might be still running. Remember, you started the data analysis, might be still pending. Might be uh, there was, because once the experiment runs, you can't stop them, right? So maybe uh, you have to be present or you have to delegate someone to be present. So your managerial skills, your communication skills, your business acumen, your analytical skills and your technical skills in chemistry, everything is at test in one single day. So if you're thinking that becoming a chemist or a chemistry scientist is easy, truth is, well, it is if you study well, if you upskill yourself, if you cross-skill yourself, if you learn. And that is why Rasayanika has more than 50 chem uh, chemistry certification courses which keeps you updated with the latest in the chemistry industry. Check out the link in the description. You can always um, find it out. But in the meantime, if in case you are looking for writing some research papers or research reports and you are finding it difficult, you are having writer's block, then the sponsor of this video, which is Jenny.ai, is going to definitely help you. Now, Jenny.ai is an AI-powered writer, which has multiple uh, databases inbuilt so that if you are writing a research paper or a research report or you need some help, you are facing uh, you know, uh, writer's block and rather I would say you are unable to fo uh, format it in the right uh, way and it is getting rejected, then this particular AI tool will come handy. Now, the starter package is free of cost. You can test it out and later on if you like it, you can definitely pay. The link about Jenny.ai is also given in the description. So I hope you will try that out and let me know how was your experience. So this is all about how a day will look like in the life of a chemist uh, from lab bench to the boardroom table. You are going to be a rock star of your field. All you have to do is get started with Rasayanika, subscribe to us and remember, together we can and we will make a difference. Thank you.